Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at slope. We're going to answer how do I find the slope or rate of change from ordered pairs, tables, or graphs. So remember, slope or rate of change mean the same thing and is a ratio of the change in y compared to the change in x. So let's talk about two ways that we can find this. The first way is with the slope formula. This can be used to find any or the slope between any two points. So if you have a first point, that would be x1 and y1. And then if you have a second point, that would be x2 and y2. And slope is the change in y over the change in x. And the way we can find that change is by doing y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Another way that we can find this is by doing rise over run on a graph. So let's go ahead and practice that with this graph here. What you want to do is find two perfect points I see one right there and right there. You can use any two points on the line. And then I'm going to draw a slope triangle. The rise is two and the run, the horizontal change is three. So the slope is two thirds. And that is a positive slope since it is increasing from left to right. A negative slope is when the line is decreasing from left to right. A zero slope is a horizontal line and an undefined slope is a vertical line. All right, let's practice finding the slope now. On number one, they gave us two points, so I'm going to use the slope formula. So first thing I'm gonna do is write down the slope formula. It is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And now I'm gonna label my points. This would be x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. Now I just need to plug into the formula. So I'm gonna do y2 minus y1. So negative eight minus negative six. All over x2 minus x1. So seven minus one. And now I need to simplify. Negative eight minus negative six is the same thing as negative eight plus six because minus a negative is the same thing as plus a positive if we keep change change. So negative eight plus six is negative two. And then seven over one or seven minus one is six. And then I just need to simplify that negative two over six simplifies to negative one third. All right, on number two, I have ordered pairs again. So let's label. So it'd be x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. If you notice our y values are the same. So we're probably gonna have one of our special cases. Let's see what happens when I plug in to the slope formula. So it would be seven minus seven for y2 minus y1 all over seven minus negative 10 for x2 minus x1. Seven minus seven is zero. Seven minus negative 10 or plus 10 is 17. And zero divided by anything is zero. So the slope of this line is zero. And that is going to happen anytime the y values are the same. If you have the same y values, that means that there's no change in the y values. So the slope equals zero if you have the same y values. And it would make a horizontal line because we're not doing any vertical change. We're not changing the y values at all. So that's why the slope is zero. Okay, this one we have a table. So I need to do slope formula and I can choose what points to use in a table. I like to try and choose the points that are gonna be easiest for me to use. So all of the coordinates are negative here, so that's not really gonna help me, not gonna make a difference with the signs. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the last two points just because they're smaller numbers, but it doesn't matter. You can choose any two points from the table. So this would be x1 and y1, and then this would be x2 and y2. So if I do y2 minus y1, it'd be negative four minus negative six, all over x2 minus x1 would be negative one minus negative two. So negative four 
minus negative six is the same thing as negative four plus six, which is two. And then negative one minus negative two is the same thing as negative one plus two, so one. And two over one simplifies to two. So the slope is two. Number four, we have another table, so I'm gonna use the slope formula. And it does not matter what two points you use. Um, I do notice that all the x values are the same, so it's probably gonna be a special case. So let's plug into the slope formula and see what happens. So it will be negative two minus negative one all over two minus two. So negative two minus negative one is the same thing as negative two plus one or negative one, and then two minus two is zero. So we have negative one over zero. We cannot divide by zero. So this slope is undefined. If you have the same x values, that means that the slope is undefined because there's no change in the x values. It's a vertical line. We are not going left or right at all, so that's what makes it undefined. Okay, on number five, I have a graph. So if you wanted to choose ordered pairs from the graph to do rise over run, you could, or to do slope formula, you could, but I think it's easier to do rise over run. So first thing I notice is this line is negative. So I'm gonna put a negative sign. And then I'm going to find two perfect points. I see lots of perfect points on this line. I'm just gonna use these two. And the rise is one and the run is two. So my slope is negative one half. All right, number six, I have a horizontal line. There is no rise at all. There is a run, but there's no rise. So it is zero over any number. If you wanted to like try and draw your slope triangle here, the rise would be two. So since we have no change in our rise, that means that we have a zero slope. Horizontal line means a zero slope. Number seven, I have a positive slope, so I don't have to worry about the negative sign. I do notice that the y-axis is counting by two, so we need to be careful about that. So let's draw our slope triangle. There's two perfect points. The rise is one space, but remember the y-axis is counting by two, so that's really two. And then the run is one, two, three, four. So my slope is two over four, which simplifies to one half. All right, number eight, I have another negative slope, so I'm gonna make sure to put negative. And then my y-axis, it looks like it's counting by fives. If it throws you off to have those blank spaces, then go ahead and write those numbers in there. In between five and 10 would be 15, and in between 15 and 25 would be 20. So this would be negative 10 and negative 20. Okay, so rise is counting by fives. Let's draw our slope triangle. Rise is one space, but I know that's really five. And then the run is just one because the x-axis is counting by ones. So my slope is negative five over one, which simplifies to negative five. And last one, I have a vertical line, which means we have an undefined slope. If you wanna think about rise over run, we are moving up and down, but I'm not going left or right at all. So to have zero on the bottom and we can't divide by zero, so this would be undefined.